Hi folks, Sandy here and welcome back to the boat build. Just a brief update on this bulkhead for diesel tank. As I uh, ordered all the fittings and what have you and they've come, so I'm just going to have a dry run, put them all together and see, see make sure it's... Right, we've got some ball valves, some pipe that's threaded, which I've is cut to certain lengths. Elbows. Uh, so on the drain off, we've got same again, ball valves and some fittings. So we'll just put them together and have a look how they sit on there. So on our manifold plate, that's going to be that will screw screw on to the tapped holes, right? We have the elbows. So we've got three on front and three on back. One's on back obviously for the pipes that pick up the fuel and one pipe that returns it to the engine that isn't used from the diesel system. So just I'm not fitting them on. Um, they're just a temporary fix that's what I'm trying to say because they'll want to put it on with a compound or PTFE tape on the threads to seal them all so front and back we've got elbows going downhill so on the back we've got a the short part there that's for the diesel to return To the engine and then I've got two slightly different length ones now that's the, sh the one that's a bit shorter and that's a longer one so internally that's how they sit that's the that's just to return to the engine it could be shorter right uh, that one's for the propulsion for the engine and that's for the auxiliary power for a um, atmosphere heater or whatever put on so that one goes fairly low to the bottom but not all the way to the bottom because you don't want it picking up any crud in the bottom and that's the auxiliary pipe so if you're powering a heater and you leave it on you don't monitor your fuel correctly if that was the same length as that, you could use all the fuel in your tank up. So if you have it shorter than that, you've always got that much left of the fuel in the bottom for your propulsion. So you're not going to get yourself stranded by running all your fuel off on a heater. So that's how they go. And they'll then drop in. Yeah. And then on the front, we've got those ball valves for isolating. So we'll have three of them. So each system is independently isolated. So that's how they'll go once they're all on. I'll not leave them just like that. We'll fab some a top a bracket or something so they all bolt up, you know, clamped up to the plate so they can't have them just loose wobbling about. And then these will have the, you know, the, the connections to the uh, engine and etc. made onto those. They may be too long though, they may have to cut them off. 
and just re-thread them up there but that's basically it and then the drain off an inspection plate on the back we'll just have that with a little stab on it like that then we've got a socket onto there and then a valve and then another pipe that goes onto the valve so if you need to drain the engine down, open the valve, diesel should appear there. But because you don't want any accidents without opening by mistake, we've got a stop end to go on there. So from the side, that's what we've got. See that'll drain down the diesel if you need to drain it out, it'll drain down to there if I put that on uh, the actual, you know, like the siphon action of the diesel should take it a bit lower so we're nearly down to the bottom of the tank and then, so that goes on there then that's it and again we'll have another bracket on there to hold this firm you can't just leave them like that, if somebody stood on it, you know, you can have a diesel leak, can't you? So, that's the components. So now, that bulkhead can go in. So, we can finish the diesel tank now. Weld all, put that in, weld it all up, and that's that job done. So, these will all be just fitted after, you know, we'll make them all up correctly and we'll fit them at some later date. They don't have to go in now. So uh, that's the next job, the bulkhead, to put that back in. So, but I just want to show you that, the components, what we've got today. So anyway, that's it. So I hope you're enjoying the vlogs. If you are, please consider liking and subscribing. All right, to our.